Morning, everyone. Welcome to the lookout. We're going to take a quick spin around Echo Lake and uh, other parts of the Caldor Fire that are still active. All right, we're looking here at Echo Lake. Um, going to zoom in here. Fire's been pretty active on the um, south shore here for uh, quite some time. Just a heavy fuel on the south end of the lake uh, on that north facing slope has continued to burn intensely and it's back slowly down so we're just going to come in here uh, as close as we can and um, go around the lake It's hard to see in here, but there's all these little cabins. I never knew anything about these little cabins back on the edge of the lake on the bottom of the hill. So if you live out there, this video is mainly for people who live at Echo Lake. Uh, for a lot of us, we're just seeing a bunch of coves and rocks, but I'm sure there's some people looking at this that know every cove and every rock and probably have uh, names that their families called this stuff for the last hundred years. So for all you out there, I hope your, uh, your places are doing all right, that you made it. Um, and, um, uh, that this does something for you. You got to say that this information isn't always, um, completely precise. For instance, this mapping is showing scattered heat in the lake, which, uh, which says it all, but they usually do. They usually do a pretty good job with this stuff of, um, field you know of ground they look at it and interpret it onto um, a map so that's echo lake um now we're looking down over christmas valley the purple area is area that is burned um, red dots are you know, scattered little isolated pockets of heat often they're like a burning stump hole or something so um we're coming kind of out to the head of fire kind of looking back this is trimmer peak and we're looking back over it towards myers the airport's on the right hand side here so uh, looking really good uh, not a lot of new heat to report on that part of the fire um, part of the fire that is active is um, you know just a part that we've been watching and talking about for quite some time here um, between sierra tahoe and kirkwood there's this um, basin here of um, coming up out of Strawberry to the south. And, you know, as we have talked about for some time here, just that there haven't, there's not really any great terrain opportunities in here for us to uh, have fought the fire directly. There has been some dozer line put in here over the past um, week and a half, and th that hasn't stopped the fire from spreading up and out of here. So, um, you can see that the fire made a good run out of here yesterday and spotted out into here, um, you know, a good three quarters of a mile out ahead of itself, which is, is just really showing you, you know, why these fires this year are so hard for us to control is that even if you put in a dozer line or use retardant, when the fire does um, flare up in the afternoon and make a run, it can spot, you know, three quarters of a mile out ahead of it. So I think it's pretty likely that this fire is going to burn all the way out um, until it's in a spot where we can access it better or it hits the area that's already burned. Um, there's a little bit of... This area looks like it's pretty much cooled off here along the Carson Pass Highway. Uh, yellow is scattered heat. You, generally, when we look at the yellow, we say it's cooling down. Some intense... Um, heat here kind of backing in towards the cables burn uh just to refresh this this white area here is um uh, area that was prescribed burned a couple years ago and uh, that kept this area from burning again during this fire um, as we zoom out of here um, and look at the whole fire overall all these kind of pink areas inside are areas that have had fuels treatment or fuel reduction thinning over the past 
uh, 10 to 15 years. Um, outside of the fire, they show up as white. And uh, we've got a video, a separate video on our YouTube here about how those uh, fuel treatments help to corral this fire, especially in the area around the communities. Anyway, um, not a lot to report out on the west end of the fire. Still um, cooling off. There's still isolated heat all over the place on this fire. And then um, no new spread here north of Kybers and north of I I F Highway 50. No new spread towards Wrights Lake. Um, still intense heat here where the fire is kind of fingering out towards the granite. There was a spot um, out here on the other side of the uh, divide. Um, that's isolated heat. It's not showing any intense heat out there. Uh, so no new um, spot fires way out into the granite here, but you know we have continued to have spotting that's kind of finding its way around uh, patches of the forest out here. Anyhow, that's your update for today. Um, we'll keep making these as long as the fire still has um, something to report. If you're getting back home after being evacuated, welcome home. Um, glad so many people's places made it here. Uh, real testament to a huge amount of work that's been done over the past 15, 20 years. And my hope is that um, the fact that we uh, dodged the bullet here doesn't let anyone think that um, that this is not a, a very uh, dangerous and fire prone environment. Fuels treatment, um, it's not a one shot deal. You gotta, uh, you know, you thin the air, you thin the forest, and then it um, it grows back. So, you know, living, continuing to live safely here and um, being safe from the future fire requires all of us to acknowledge that and to keep on top of uh, cutting brush, thinning, and supporting efforts to do more of this kind of work everywhere that people live in the forest. Thanks for supporting the lookout and um, subscribe to the channel. If you enjoy this work, consider making a subscription donation to us on PayPal. That'll help us um, keep this work going.